All right, so in this lesson, I'm going to introduce you to a certain type of pointer, the care pointer. And I'm going to explain why you use that. So as I mentioned before, pointers are powerful because they give you a way to read and write data that is far more complex than the simple data types that C or any other language gives you, like integers, characters, and so on. Now I am going to explain some of the mechanics of how this actually works. In other words, how do you actually read and manipulate a large data structure that is larger than a simple data type? Now before I do that, I want to give you a small sneak peek at the future of this course. In C, or in any language really, the complexity of the data follows this type of hierarchy. Let me just uh, So first of all, the least complex type of data is just a single element of a given data type, like for example a character or an integer or so on. More complex you get into a text string a string of text, which is one type of a simple array, in this case an array of characters. Going more complex you get into single dimensional arrays and the multi-dimensional arrays and then data structures and so on. The more complex the data you can work with, the better you are as a programmer and the more things you can do. It's as simple as that. In the very first lesson, I commented about the difference between learning a programming language and actually learning how to program. The purpose of this course is to teach you how to program. I am starting with C, but we will work into other languages as the course progresses. Now we are going to advance our understanding past single data elements of a given data type, which is what we've been working with up until now, and we're going to work towards number two on this list, which is a simple text string. So, imagine this code first of all. Now this should make sense to you because we're saying create a variable called my character and store the value A there. You probably have a good idea that my character has a memory address. You probably have a good idea of what is at that memory address. And of course, this is one byte in size. Now, what if I wrote this? Now think about what this is saying. It is saying store the entire string of text, hello Reddit, which is more than 10 bytes, into a single character which is one byte. You can't do that. So what data type makes it possible to create a string of text? The answer is none. There is no data type that lets you do that. This is very important. No variable will ever hold a string of text. There is simply no way to do this. Even a pointer cannot hold a string of text. A pointer can only hold a memory address. Here is the key. A pointer cannot hold the string itself, but it can hold the memory address of the first character of the string. Now consider this code. So here we have created a pointer called my pointer which can be used to contain a memory address. Now before I continue I need to teach you one more thing. Whenever you create a string of text in C, such as with quotes, you are actually storing that string of text somewhere in memory. That means that a string of text, just like a variable, has some address in memory where it resides. To be clear, anything that is ever stored in RAM has a memory address. Okay, now let's consider this code. Keep in mind that a pointer can only contain a memory address. Here we're creating a pointer called my pointer. 
we're saying that this pointer is going to be used to look at characters. And then we are assigning the pointer a string of text that is hello reddit. Now, what happens if we make this into an actual program? Let's find out. The string is hello reddit. Now, why does this work? Obviously, my pointer needs to be given a memory address. This is a pointer. It needs to hold a memory address. That's what pointers contain. Well, this string of text, hello reddit, is stored in memory somewhere. It has a memory address. When you assign this pointer to a string of text, what you are doing is you are storing the memory address of the very first character into the pointer. So when you write that line of code, you are effectively telling C to do two things. First of all, you are creating the actual string of text, hello Reddit, and storing it in memory at some memory address. Second of all, you are creating a pointer called my pointer and you are pointing it to the memory address where the string of text is stored. Now you know how to cause a pointer to point to a string of text. So here is here is a simple program for you. I encourage you to experiment with this yourself. And here let's just make a couple changes here just so you get the idea. All we're doing in order to have a string of text that we can that we can print or use with a, a printf statement is this. First of all, we need to create a pointer that's designed to hold characters. We give it a name. Let's call it our text string. Now we need to assign a memory address to this pointer that will correspond to a string of text. So we need a string of text. Let's say hello and now we need to like so okay so look at what this line of code does I have a pointer called our text string I am assigning it a memory address of this string of text now notice I don't have an ampersand character I don't need one because C understands that I mean the memory address of the string so this, and then of course I can write my printf statement, the string is percent %s because I want a string, and I just put the pointer. Now this brings up an important point. Notice that when you use percent %s in a printf statement, you are providing a pointer to a string of text, the memory address of a string of text. And when we run this, and there you go you see how that works so why is this this is a bit strange syntax the reason is specifically so that it's easier to create strings of text so this syntax our text string equals quote and then the string in this case hello is designed to make for more readable code for example let's say care my string and then my string equals this is a string of text it's easy to read that and then if I write my printf statement here is the string percent s my string it's easy to read that and if you understand what's going on it's it's easy to see too you see that you have a variable called my string which is a pointer and is specifically a pointer of the data type care, which means it's designed to be used with characters, individual bytes, and we are we have to give it a memory address. We're giving it the memory address of this string of text. So in this one line, we're doing two things. 
we are storing this string of text somewhere in memory. This string of text basically has a memory address now. We don't know what that memory address is, but it has a memory address. And then by, by assigning my string equal to this, what we are doing is we are saying my, my string is equal to the memory address of the text string. It's still a pointer. It still contains only a memory address. In fact, it specifically contains the memory address of the very first character, and that's how it works. And then you can use the printf statement to display that string of text by using percent %s, which means string, string of text, or more specifically, it means a pointer to a string of text, and then you can print it. So one question you might have is then, why does, why does this work? are actually this. Take a look. So notice that percent %s expects a pointer, a memory address, to a string of text. When you write a string of text in C, C understands that that string of text has a memory address. So when you write this code, this string of text world has a memory address. Let's just let's just create somewhere in memory that it is stored, which means that we're going to have something like this. And let's not forget null character, the, the null termination string, which is a byte of all zeros. So in this case, as far as C is concerned, this string of text is the memory address where it begins. And this percent %s expects a memory address where the string begins. So hopefully that, that helps make the syntax clear for you. So let's just go over it one more time. To create a string of text, first you create a pointer. Give it a name, any name you want. Um, our string of text. Now you give that pointer the value, the memory address of a string of text. And doing that is really easy with C. All you have to do is write the name of the pointer equals and then your string of text. And that's it, you're done. You now have a string of text. You now have the memory address of it because you can use our string of text as the memory address. And now you can use printf and other functions that expect a string of text because you just provide like so. And when you run this, and it says your string of text. So there you go. If you have any questions, feel free to ask and we will be getting into this more in later lessons.